Hello and welcome back to the Wolford. You are listening or watching episode four and this could possibly be the second take of this intro because our microphone wasn't plugged in. So we're here to restart again. How's your week been, Alex? It's been fine. Good. It's good. been absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, it's been a standard. It's been above, above, above average week. Mm. I mean, work is fine. Home time is fine. <laughs> I've all, I've finally almost caught up with the entire series of the US Office. I'm on the final season now. Oh, good. Um, they turned Andy into a really horrible character at the beginning of this season. Because you know the Catherine Tate character who comes in? She takes his job, but she doesn't do it in a, it's kind of a comical way she does it. Mm. But then he gets his job back. I won't go through minor details, but now he's punishing her and being really horrible to her in front I don't of know like who any stuff. of these people. Are. Who's Andy? Well, Andy's the guy who came from another office um, and then took over as the, kind of the main role that Steve Carell had. Right. Steve Carell played like the Ricky Gervais character oh, okay. in the American office. And now Catherine Tate's taken over. Well, Catherine Tate... Spoilers. Yeah. Okay. Like 10 years ago. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Catherine Tate came in, I think, season eight, halfway through. Mm-hmm. And now she's in season nine. But it still surprises me that Catherine Tate is on The Office, the US version of The Office. Mm-hmm. Because I can't... I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, America, but I don't think Catherine Tate was particularly well known in Doctor America. Doctor Who, isn't it? She knows, she's probably known from that. Would she have done Doctor Who then, though? It was like the season's 2013. I'm trying yes. to think, would that have been the... That was ages ago she was on Doctor Who, wasn't it? She played Donna, didn't she? Mm. That's one of my favourite series of Doctor Who, that is, the one with Catherine Tate. Yeah, that is like the It's last a really one. good series, and, and especially when um, that doctor has his very last episode and he meets her again and she's had to have her memory erased. Everything she's learned from the doctor <laughs> yeah, has right. been forgotten. All her character growth and everything. Mm. But she wins the lottery. So, yeah, win win. Continue yeah. being a bit. It's such a great. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because she did learn. She learned better, but then she obviously had to forget it. Mm. I can't remember the finer details. I'm. I mean, I like Doctor Who, but I don't watch it. Like, I'm not an avid fan of it. So I apologise if I'm getting any details very wrong. So our viewers are on tender hooks, Alex. Mm. Because right. we've been doing our horoscopes each week. Yes. Starting off as a bit of a joke between us, thinking it's all a load of rubbish, but slowly each week they seem to be more and more accurate to our. Live, yeah, um, and obviously it's been telling you for weeks to contact your parents, right? How are we doing on that front? I mean, not strong, I'll say. It's not no. a strong start. I tried getting in touch with them once mm-hmm. this week, um, and they didn't reply, <laughs> so they're avoiding me. Um, but um, I, I kind of normally, if I phone them, they get back in touch with me. I'm not sure. I think they might still be on holiday. I'm not certain. On a cruise. On a cruise. Because they do go on long holidays. Mm. They're retired, so they do go on long you holidays. You could still phone them, though, and find out. No, because then there'll be roaming charges and stuff, and I'll just get a barrage of hate from my dad from that moment onwards. But, but any, before anyone gets in touch and says, like, I'm a bad son for not getting in touch with my m- mum and dad, our relationship isn't one that we phone each other pretty much every day or every week. We, we, we get in touch no, and we let each other know. You to your brother, really. My brother, my brother is the one who's still, like, <laughs> attached to my mum's mm. breast. Um, um, but uh, but we when you know when I do get in touch with my mum and dad we we're on the phone for about an hour and a half aren't we so it's not that like we don't have anything that's to true. say to each other we we and it's be- for me that's better it's like our relationship like we just we pass each other in the kitchen now and I've just grunt each other we have nothing to say like this is probably the longest conversation we'll have all week well, yeah, right now this is, what it's for. this is the only reason we do it so our relationship survives <laughs> but um <laughs> and I find that with like friendships and stuff like that I can't really like I don't have a lot I don't want to you know I'd rather have a long period of time when I've not seen someone so then I've got lots to say to them yeah our lives aren't that interesting to update every day speak for yourself I, I burnt the cat's nose this morning with porridge. I know. That poor cat. He's, he's got still his little got porridge on his nose. Yeah, it's stuck to his nose and it won't come <laughs> off and we can't get rid of it. And now he's run away and hidden somewhere. And One of our watchers him. did want to know actually how long we've been together because last week we said it had been some time. It's been 11 years. 11 years is how long, everyone. That's why we look Sent so out. young. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, if I could make the cliche joke of <laughs> you get more time for murder, Ben. <laughs> Oh, yeah, rather reach that wah, point wah, there. Wah. No, but it's, no, it's been a lovely t- 11 years. Has it not been a nice 11 years for you? Yeah, it's been very good. Yeah. Flown by, isn't it? How would you rate our 11 years out of, <laughs> out of 11? Eight. Nine. Eight. <laughs> wow, well, corrected that quick. Why eight? 8.5. Because nothing's ever a 10. And 11's just an a 11. number. Well, it's not because it's in Spinal Tap. 
all speakers go up to 11. If you go on BBC iPlayer... No, that's annoying. They do a, just go to 10. They do an in-joke. I think it's from Spinal Tap. On BBC iPlayer, the volume gauge at the bottom goes up to 11, um, which I think is a nice little touch, but obviously you don't. So um, your horoscope last week, I'm just looking back on it. Mm. It was saying you may see people like chess pieces and you may be able to play them off against each other to gain for yourself. Is uh, that... No, I'm not going to play anyone happen, this week. Actually. Not this week anyway, maybe next week. <laughs> Did you feel frisky this week with prospects of love? Yeah. Your libido standing up to be continued. Yeah, yeah. Stood up now and then. It was average. fine. It was really average. Did. I'd give it. I'd give it an eight out of eleven. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yours is always about love and sex and all stuff. So let's have a look at your one on one next kind week, of guy shall I am. we? So you may be embroiled. This is for next week. You may be embroiled with family problems. These family problems are probably gained from you not contacting anyone. For is that what it says? No, but I'm just... Oh, you're paraphrasing. That. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, you may feel divided on your loyalties and you can see clearly the points of both sides. Oh, I'm quite neutral with those things anyway, if to so be you fair. you could be a peacemaker. So there's going to be a family argument. Oh, that's interesting. Who between them? My mum and dad sold their house, everyone, from the um, cliffhanger from last week. Um, so you could be embroiled in that side with arguments because my brother's moving in with them and it's all going to be Well, very... that's true. Your brother's a bit of a risk. Yeah. My mum's <laughs> threatening to move in with us for a few days, which that's could That's also a be... risk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might find out what it's like to go down for murder. Communication could go wrong despite your good intention. So double check text before you send them. See, no, right, that, I tell you what that's about, because they now read our minds on these things. <laughs> when I send you text messages, you oh. misinterpret them every time. Like, I could send Ben a simple message like, what do you want for tea tonight? And then I get a reply, yes. And I'm like, well, what do you want then? And you're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, what do you want for tea tonight? And you went, well, you haven't asked me. And it's like, I did ask you. And you're like, no, you didn't. You said we're having tea tonight. And it's like, of course we're having tea tonight. But what do you want? And then you just get another reply, yes. And it's like... That's that's basically because you asked me at like six in the morning because you're up at four. So by six half six, you're thinking I'm hungry in the morning. (laughs) I'm not thinking about that. I don't care. Just whatever turns up. Or I'm in the supermarket and I'm waiting for your reply. So I look like I'm not always on my phone waiting to say by me. You're always on your phone. You can't say you're not always on your phone. I'm sat there. I'm not always available to speak then. If I'm on yeah, my phone. because you're too busy chatting up your <laughs> your your lover boys. All right, so my one last week, I can't remember any of it. Um, oh yeah, I was going to have a contract of a legal matter that didn't happen in the end. We were worried it was, but it didn't. No, so that's that's probably for the best. <laughs> I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't sign any agreements of employment. I purposely didn't. Wasn't going to risk that <laughs> last week. No, because um, it says I, otherwise I'll be looking at a lawsuit. So none of that happened. That's probably for the best. So then it said I was going to be alerted for big things of money and lots of passive income. Oh, kind of. Because your mum and dad sold the house. They said they were going to throw a few That's coins true. your way. I'm waiting for that still, mother. <laughs> yeah, but you now <laughs> it's know. It's been a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a whole day, mum. So um, next week, I've got a love relationship becomes available. <laughs> And That's all can, your messaging can, on your phone. It can feel overwhelming to take the first step, but this would be a great day to connect. And yet it feels like you would rather do anything else, which is true. Mm. I would rather do anything else. You're a bit detached at the moment, aren't you? Mm. Yeah. Get advice from a friend about relationships or even let them fix you up on a date. I'll fix you up if you want. I don't mind. <laughs> I would. If you ask me, I would. No, I can't be bothered. Don't want to be dating ever again. But it goes down to the question. It's like it's been if we 11 broke, years. If we broke up, like, would we still be friends? And I always answer yes, because I've broken up with people before and we've always remained friends. Have but you? That's interesting. Who? But you, but yeah, this is, this is the same <laughs> reaction every time. Uh, but, but, but with you, you, you've broken up with a couple of people and you've not kept up with them quite so... I haven't been with anyone really one person that was a girl so obviously that wasn't going to work out yeah but how much contact do you have with them well I spoke to them for years after no that's true that's true in fact I got to meet I met them exactly she was my smoking buddy I remember <laughs> now yeah she was, when, so, when you used to be all prude inside the pub like oh dick smoke we'd be like should we go out for a smoke she'd be like yeah alright then now you're prude and then we'd talk about you <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> Um, so negotiations will be needed around signing contracts again next week. So oh, they're still contract. threatening this. Some compromises will have to be made to get what you want. 
If you can put off signing, do so, as there will be more spacious days in the future. Mm-hmm. So... Well, there you go. So that contract still has an end. So it is yet. still around. Yeah, which is um interesting. That's exciting, though. I hope mm. it. I what contract it is. Well, I'm hoping it's to hope do it's not employment. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I hope, I hope it is for your sake. <laughs> mm. But I'm hoping it's something else. But you that's... don't want to put it in the universe. No, too dangerous. It's too dangerous if I put it in the <laughs> universe. It's far too dangerous if I throw it out there. By the way, if anyone can hear a buzzing sound, it's because um, someone's I'm, doing their garden. Someone's doing their garden because it's glorious it is in so the UK hot in this at the room moment. As well. We need to rethink this room because it's yeah. too hot to record a podcast in. I mean, in Scotland, it's quite warm. It's like 27, yeah. 28 degrees, and the camera keeps overheating, mm. so we have to keep pausing all the time. But in the south of England, where we come from, it's like 33, 34. Mm. But I understand America and Canada are having it a lot worse than us. So. Well, it's different in England when it's hot because it really affects us. Because <laughs> yeah, it affects us. So, so we're um, in a bad mood. Our next thing that I'm doing, I'm going to do it now. What about my horoscope? We've done yours. Oh, for next week, have we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, remember, it was a family issue that you had to get in. Oh, I've got to resolve it. Yeah, 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 yeah. God. I'll be the middleman. Sorry, I was just... Um, so, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to do it now because my laptop is in the sun over there and you need, we need my laptop to do it. So we're going to do it now, quick. And it is more tests, because we love doing little tests here. And you've always said that you could be a presenter on TV and read the auto cue. So we are going to do an auto cue reading test. I did this at NBC Studios when I was 15. Well, <laughs> you've got those two to choose from. You can do both or whatever. Is but this the thing that you were going to then make me drink later for yes. with? Well, I can still do that if you want me to. Actually, no, I can't because I've got to be somewhere later. Yeah, it's too early. No drinking. So, um, it's too early in the day. But if anyone's got any drinking challenges that they'd like us to record of one evening, we can always just insert it into the podcast one day. Yeah, then please get in touch with us. I was going to have to do this sober and then do it at the end of the show drunk and see if you could still do the auto cue. <laughs> but um, you know. there'll be a lot of ers and ahs. So you've got hello. You've got um, numeracy ones. Or politic ones. Oh, politics. Politics first. Oh, fair. Okay, I'll do... No, yeah, I'll do politics first. I'll warm up with politics. It's going to be really complicated names, isn't it? This is advanced practice. Okay, so can you see that there? I can, but I'm not obviously going to be looking at the camera. I'm going to be looking at the monitor. That's fine. Do you think you're going to be able to do this all right? Well, no, because I think it's setting me up to fail. Okay, so... (laughs) Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, let me me turn around. What's happening here? Hi everyone. This is the part of the show where you, you watch Ben um, <laughs> set things up. You can you you could do presenting. Claudia Winkleman said it's easy. Well, this is my point. Claudia Winkleman said that it's standing up and reading out loud, which I, I, I love. Claudia Winkleman. I, I, don't get me wrong. I appreciate it. presenting is a lot more difficult than that. I think I. I, I is this my audition for the BBC? <laughs> Possibly. So can you see that? Then? I can see it. I'm just a bit worried about it. Okay, right. Are you ready? Yeah, should I steer it like a news? Like well, sit this like is a... politics and you have to do... It says on here, basically do the right pronunciation things. For the should situation. I bring the microphone? I'm just going to bring the microphone over. Oh, Christ. Welcome to the latest Big Ant Teleprompter practice session. If you like these sessions, please like and subscribe. <laughs> in, in this session, let's talk about politics. I can almost hear the sighs of disinterest and boredom already, but if you have plans on becoming any sort of presenter, you will need to have the skill of making all of this sound interesting and compelling. (laughs) I'm ahead of it. To keep things civil, we will be in bipartisan as possible. It's a well-known fact that the Feline Federation has often aligned itself with the Republican Party. When questioned about this, spokesperson Tiddles McPurr offered this simple explanation. Traditionally, under Republicans, we have observed the decrease in taxation on cat food products. This, in turn, has provided checks and balance on other varieties of cat treats. And so overall, we have seen a rise in living standards for cats. Breathe. Quick to offer rebuttal, Ralph Von Barks from Canine Cartel had this to say. Whilst it is true that Republicans reduced the tax on cat food, it can also be shown that they were able to do that because they raised the important import duty on dog food. The Canine Cartel tried to introduce a bill to address the equality, but the Feline Federation threatened to filibuster this bill. As such, we were not able to introduce this particular piece of legislation inside the Beltway. 
The ever moderate spokesperson Katrina Katana from the Feline Federation had this to say. Ben's gone, by the way. I would like to initiate a period of fence mending where feline and canine can start a bipartisan effort to create better access to big government and create a bill that would introduce an equal levy to be applied universally across all food products for both cats and dogs. We would need to delegate from the canine cartel and the feline federation to visit both a Democrat and Republican caucus to discuss how we move forward. We want this to be front burner and so sustained information campaign for both cats and dogs and necessarily so they fully understand the ideology behind this bill. Lobbyists agreed that Katrina's approach and nominated both Katrina and Ralph to enter the primaries. They felt that this silent majority support of a coalition but still recommend a trial balloon to test public opinion. It was also agreed that both parties will need sufficient platform and photo ops to create excitement and anticipation for this agenda. Pundits have suggested that battling reactionary points of view and a general apathy to politics will always be an obstacle, but both focus groups have stated that as long as they both candidates are fully and cute enough, the bill should pass and with little fluffy. resistance. That was meant to be fluffy. So concludes our political segment for tonight. <laughs> I've been Alex Osborne and this is The Wolford. Okay, there's a few fluff ups, but not too Fluffy bad. ups, some might say. It? Yeah, it was good. I quite enjoyed that actually. <laughs> So there you go. So you were, you did okay. Oh, you did you? Well, you weren't here for most of it. You ran oh, away. I was here for most of it. What were you run away for? None of your business. <laughs> you're gonna come in. I thought you were gonna come in in like a dog and cat costume <laughs> and like pretend like signs saying Republicans. Mm. So Republicans you did okay with food. politics and things. Did you want to try numeracy ones, which look for lots of numbers? I'm not. See, I think I'm. I do think I'm dis- number Advanced. dyslexic. Oh, well, in that case, we'll do it. <laughs> For God's sake. Okay. So, um, this is the numeracy one. It's not as long as the politic one. Yes, it is. It's three minutes. Oh, well, the other one was five, wasn't no, it? No, it's two. Oh, oh God. Right. Okay. Three. Here we go. So, I'm just reading out numbers. No, you're reading out another report. Welcome to the latest Big Ant Advanced Level Teleprompter Practice Session. Don't forget, if you like these sessions, please consider liking and subscribing to the Wolford Weekly. Got you, Big Ant. A viewer has suggested a script based around numbers. The good news is that the teleprompter script numbers will usually be written out in full, which makes it easier to interpret. However, it can still be difficult to know where to put the emphasis or what sounds right to the listener. So here is a script containing numbers for you to practice. Let's briefly discuss NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft. This incredible feat of engineering and technological prowess was launched way back in 1972. In the time since it was launched, it was it has travelled more than 22.3 billion kilometres from Earth. As a way of illustrating the vastness of space, it is interesting to note that although Voyager is travelling at around 35,000 miles per hour, it will still take over 40,000 years to, for it to complete two light years. Mm, that's a long time. That's a very long time. By comparison, the edge of our observable universe is around 46 billion light years away. Voyager would lo- therefore take 920 trillion years to reach the edge. Previously, scientists had estimated the edge as around 13.8 billion light years away but over the years the universe has expanded at quite a rate hence the adjusted figure and you thought five minutes was a long time to wait for a bus (laughs) i would also like to see the tape measure they use to get this figure let's look at a slightly easier journey for voyager the edge of the milky way galaxy well that is 25,000 light years away so voyager would cover that in around a brisk 500 million years a slight spanner in the works though is the astonishing speed the milky way is traveling please at 1.3 million po- miles per hour so adding our current trajectory to would add more time to this journey it still fills me with wonder that this humble craft designed all these years ago is still working perfectly and is still the first spacecraft to cross a- into interstellar space it is worth noting that if we define our solar system as including the sun and everything that primarily orbits the sun then voyager 1 will only leave our solar system in around twenty-eight thousand years shut up (laughs) enough time then to put the kettle on and have a cup of coffee Hopefully, in 40,000 years, it won't be quite so lonely for Voyager 1 as it has a date with a star. The bad news is this star will still be around 1.7 light years away. I suppose they can blink and flash light at each other. If any of you have the time, it is well worth reading about both Voyager spacecraft. It is an immense achievement and as proof of why it is so important to have a good understanding of science and maths. You cannot do better. 
There you go. Well done. A few fluff ups again, but well, I had someone talking over me while I was doing it at one if point. If you were on TV, right? Then that's what would happen. It's because I'm getting messages from everyone who <laughs> wants me to present the spoiler spoiler. <laughs> Voyager. But yes, thank you very much. So, um, all right. I thought you would enjoy that. I did enjoy that, actually, sadly. Times. That was quite sad. Yeah. They were only the advanced. They weren't even the expert ones. Oh, someone needs to turn off their computer while they're doing a podcast. They weren't the expert one. They were, I thought advanced would be the top. I think there's one. more difficult ones. For you. Is there? Mm. All right. Well, to be fair, the, the fact that you threw me into that and I had no prior knowledge, <laughs> I'm, I'm somewhat impressed. It's difficult, though. What I find difficult to do with teleprompter stuff is to kind of do the jokey stuff. Like they had on there, it's like, mm, just in time to make a cup of tea. You don't have time, do you, to react or do anything? Well, if you had a practice run, if you rehearsed it beforehand, then you would. But again, we're if presenting. breaking news, you just got to do it. Yeah, but you're not going to joke, are you? <laughs> the Queen has died. <laughs> well, I, well, I might. <laughs> but anyway. There you go. That was a bit of a fun little test for Alex's weekly tests. So, there you go. Well, like I say, if anyone's got any ones that involve maybe having a shot or a drink, we can always film that later mm. in the evening. Because I don't, I'm not a day drinker. I won't drink in the day, but we can film it in the evening. Okay, 9pm tonight. I'll pop the camera it. on you and make you do that again. Okay. Insert it into this podcast. It'll be inserted right now. <laughs> I look awful. Um, so, the other thing we wanted to look at was that there are new emojis yeah. that have been launched. Well, proposals for new emojis to be launched, hasn't there? Yeah, I, I saw this on... Uh, uh, on TikTok, mm. I found this and I shared it with you. It's really uh, the thing that interested me the most was the fact that both Apple and Samsung get together. Well, not Samsung, Google, isn't it? Apple and Google get mm. together. Android or whatever. Uh, yeah, and they agree on the emojis together. So it's nice that they have this kind of collaboration mm. together that they are able to talk about. Well, it's because they need to work on all devices, don't they? Because there was some confusion when someone would send a certain emoji. And, That's right. And you it'll... looked at it and it was like someone laughing and before it was someone crying <laughs> or something. So um, it didn't go well. But there is a whole load of new emojis oh, here. I like them. I like them all. Mm. I think they're all amazing. And there's loads of different like handshakes you can have. So you can shake your hands with anyone you want now. How diverse. Mm. I mean, some of them are a bit like, I don't quite know what, like, what is that? Look, that the is disappeared one. how I feel. Yeah, that's, I think that's what it meant to mean. It's like, you, you almost don't want to be there. Mm. So it's like if a situation is awkward. That is me right now. <laughs> yeah, that's if it's too hot. Yeah. That's if you've got some gossip later. That's if you can't watch. That's to salute. That's the John Cena. You can't see me. <laughs> I suppose I haven't done that one yet. And that's, that, that's nice. That's, yeah, that's you looking at a juicy... <laughs> Chicken hate steaks. the I know art ones. No, thank you. I don't like. I don't agree with that. No, I like that they've got. I know, feel aggressive, like pointing at me. I know there's going to cause a lot of controversy, and I'm oh, the pregnant the pregnant man. man. I like them. I think they're great. Mm. I think it's it's a nice way of saying we're having a child. Mm. And also, I know they're not meant to be used this way, but I think they would be great after you've eaten Christmas dinner. Yes, because like, it looks a like you've gone baby. <sighs> yes, food baby. I know that's not their intention, but yeah, who cares what's going on? But it's just all inclusive, isn't it? I'm a bit confused by the nest one with the eggs in it. I don't mm. really get what that. Maybe would it's be like for, for a parent who has like an empty nest or oh, empty nest syndrome. Yeah, nest, I don't know. Apparently, the coral one is for climate change because that's used a lot for climate change. <laughs> the coral reefs are being destroyed. Oh, yeah, they are being, yeah, but that's not just climate change. That's dickheads who are basically climbing the coral reefs and think it's hilariously funny and they're destroying them. That's a you. troll. Oh, sorry. That's a tro yeah, troll. Yeah. An online troll. Oh, I like the bit lip as well. <laughs> that's like, do you want to come over later? <laughs> My lip. What about three beans? <laughs> beans. I don't quite know what... Well, they, are they meant to, do you reckon they're meant to be magic beans? So it's like to meant to, something that's meant to be too good to be true. Mm. So like in Jack and the Beanstalk, so if someone says, oh my God, I just bought, I can, I've just seen online, I can get this for oh, 100 quid. Beans. And someone could reply, oh yeah, they're magic beans. And that's mm. too good to be true. Perhaps that's what it means. Spilt cup. Oh, that doesn't make sense. If it was mm. tea, maybe you could have a spill the mm. tea. And milk. An empty that's jar. Stupid. Mm. See, some of these are like, but these are probably going to be the ones that people will end up making like funny memes out of somehow. 
Like these random ones. But don't forget, people also use emojis to like describe films and stuff, don't they? It's like a game, isn't mm-hmm. it? So you use them. Oh, this is the all seeing eye. That's yeah. it. who's that? David Blaine. Do you remember when he had that interview <laughs> on GNTV eye, yeah. and he just Eamon Holmes and he just put his hand up with the eye on it and Eamon Holmes just sat there really uncomfortably for the whole interview. <laughs> Look it up on YouTube, GMTV David Blaine interview. Mm-hmm. It's hilarious. He is very odd. Mm. Battery, empty battery. Yeah, that's obviously that means I'm tired. Oh, turn your phone off. It's not my phone. Oh. <laughs> that's not recording, so it's fine. X-rays and bubbles and now, license. Do you think that license... Is a vaccine passport. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> no, genuinely, that's what I'm wondering, because there's so many rumours that other countries are doing it, and they just announced that the UK are doing something kind of similar which is that they you're not allowed to go to some sporting events or nightclubs Night club, yeah. unless you have proof that you've been had the double vaccination now see personally i think although i completely think everyone should get it's the double vaccination right now i do think that people should get the double vaccination 100 percent. i personally think that's a liberty too far that's someone that's taking away your right mm. a little bit and i think that's too far and if it was any other government i probably... wanted to do them for um Going on holiday, though. That makes some sense, because other countries might also have the same kind of rules, mm. so you've kind of had to comply. It's just the weird how thing. they've said it's nightclubs, like, underline nightclubs, mm. oh, and some other events. Mm. It's like, so the events that they will probably want to be popular or be busy, they won't apply them. That's oh, well, the it'll be like horse racing, it? won't it? Yeah, they'll so be like, horse oh, no, racing will be fine. Yeah, yeah, we can all go to that, but nightclubs and... Mm. music events no like a basketball yeah, match like it'll be stuff like that like they yeah. can then choose to mm, pick and choose ruin theater or whatever but carry on having people come in I to watch the football theater. And stuff I like that about stuff like that as well so, yeah. again putting a... it's because the government is so untrustworthy that you have to question this is my point if it was any other government in the uk right now that's proposed it i might be a little bit more understanding about it but i just don't trust the tories because they're obviously things like this lead to bigger things and it's just it's just moving on to bigger things for me, and they're using and it's and it's annoying because it's almost playing into the hands of the the conspiracy theorists and the anti vaxxers because no, they're all because everyone I've seen loads of comments online saying we told the you conspiracy so conspiracy theorists said this about two years ago yeah, and yeah. Like, oh, God, so. but this is, no, this is what I mean don't and give them energy. don't give them don't give them that yeah don't give them that fuel to then say I told you so we yeah. said this is going to happen is what else is gonna this happen. is what's happened and now what we else we said was going to happen is going to happen mm. so I just I just think but not just that also I mean a lot of and I said this to you, a lot of people in the BAME community aren't taking the vaccines, rightly so, for, for, for certain reasons, um, because they don't feel like they can trust it, mm. because, again, experimentations in the past and so on and so forth. And so, again, the, 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 with this rule, they're being singled out again. So instead of educating people and saying to them, right, this is... this," I know everyone says, oh, but it's all online. Yeah, but some people need it almost presented in front of them a bit more. Mm. It's know, really sneaky how they... Um like open nightclubs for one night as well mm. and then the next day announced this it's like why did you not announce this you've mm. known this freedom day has been around coming up for months why didn't you announce all these things it's just very suspicious yeah, well they're giving you a why month now? aren't they because they, they, they until september, september yeah, yeah which is their you reason would have had the chance to have it to have the double vaccine then. which i have had by the way i had it this week <laughs> mine's next week and mm-hmm. mm-hmm. we're all i'm very secure, proud to say double vaxxed up and then thank mm. care well, I do care, but you know. Yeah, of course. But, um, but it'll be an annual thing now. Mm. But we're happy with these emojis. We yes! Like them. The emojis the baby great. one I'll be using a lot. Yeah. When I've eaten too much, so. Will you? Yeah. I might, I'll be using the um, disappeared face <laughs> emoji. Like, I don't want to be here <laughs> for most things. Yeah. They'll use it online of duty when they want to get out the interview. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be the emoji yeah. they send. <laughs> instead of uh, m- emergency exit required. Mm. Um, so... Another thing that I found online, which I thought was very strange. Might want to have this, actually. Oh, these, I don't know if these make my ears ill. That's fine. <laughs> have you seen that you can make yourself Last permanently week, taller with an operation? This man underwent the height lengthening procedure on his femurs to permanently get three inches right. taller. So he's been able to be made three inches taller. Yeah, but the guy was in a wheelchair to start with. So is it just an outcome of an operation of him being able to walk? No, he's in a wheelchair because he's had the procedure. So he's oh, okay, I see, I see. A bit each time of like a screw. So medical marvel, increasing himself by three inches. 
I feel like there's so many more important things that we can maybe tackle in mm. the medical community than whether we're able to make someone grow three inches. I mean, <laughs> I can make someone grow three inches. <laughs> if we're taking this show into the gutter, well, yes, then that's. But, um, yeah, but no, no. I if don't someone know. wants to do it, fine, do it. If you want to improve, or of course, whatever. I'm no prude, but it just feels well, it's not being prude, is it? It's just is there's it a, a waste thing of, of money? him here Five of him ago, like this man underwent in the real life and stuff procedure to permanently add three inches to his height. but has he given he a reason five eight and now he is five people 11. are saying like his proportions don't look right now because like it looks like he's on like stilts this and he... patient yeah it does a little bit you know what i mean yeah i know what you're saying but also if he was five eight five eight that's a fine height. Mean. That's nothing wrong with that. That's basically what I am. So am I a short ass? I just I feel I take offence to that. <laughs> That's I mean, what I thought. But like when people were commenting on that and they were like, "Oh yeah, well he's now walking like he's got like, yeah he's kind of like on stilts. He kind of can't walk mm. properly. It's like when yeah you see people on stilts and they're kind of constantly trying to keep their balance as they're walking." Mm. I just I don't know. Like you say, it's a personal choice. Fine, I've got nothing wrong with that. It feels. Weird. So what do they do? They just kind of took the bend, the natural bend in your leg, and just yeah, they unbend it. They make a unbend. thing where your bone just above your knee, and then they so it makes they put a thing there, and the bone slowly heals over it, and then they twist it, and it makes it longer, and then the bone so the bone makes itself longer. So they twist it. So it's a bit like you know those vending machines when you put the money in and you choose like D nine, and then it kind of has got that <laughs> thing. Is that what they basically do? I'm genuinely know, asking. Screw, is that- I guess. It's, um... So it's like a spiral, and so that spiral can then expand. So I, t- I take it they don't do it in one go. They don't just give you the three inches. No, they like turn bit it by every, bit by bit every now and then. But I just wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I mean, I don't. To be no. honest, I hate my height. I do. I, I just said like, oh, nothing wrong with my height. I've, I've I've come to accept it now. No, he's making a certain bit of his leg longer, but not the. You should do like an inch and a half at the top and an inch and a half at the bottom, shouldn't you? To like. Yeah, but you still have that longer leg thing. Mm. So you'd still have that kind of long just It just creates lots of problems in my head. Like it yeah. would create problems. It's, un- it's unnecessary. Spine. Yeah. Hmm. It's it's something it's basically it's a problem that wasn't really there. Because I I know that for a few people they you know, who maybe very short might be a thing for them, but no. I just I personally I personally wouldn't. But then again, if it's up to the person who wants to do it, then if they want to do it, that's fine. Mm. But, but it's it's just, yeah, it would like, probably create more Problems down the line with like yeah. your spine and your walking, and mm. if you're like jump, like, they'll just cause I feel problems, back problems. Mm. Um, how about some internet drama? Okay, I think I vaguely touched on this earlier because I was on TikTok. And well, yeah, it's just it's just appeared all of a sudden on like Twitter on um. I don't know why. Lady Gaga keeps playing in my. Well, it's because you keep the Spotify app it's, open. No, it's closed. It's been closed for ages. It's very annoying. It's me. It's because I keep adjusting mm. the headphone in my ear. And yeah, I keep yeah, pressing play by accident. So I do apologise. <laughs> so there's a bit of internet drama which no one really knows what is going on about mm. anything. So I thought we might as well cover it. Okay. Um, and it is a couple... It is a person on, who's very famous on TikTok called, called Nose, Nosebleeds Fits. It was called Bella. Yeah, she's known as Bella. Yes, yeah, she's very popular on TikTok because she just does very deadpan like sentences or things to camera and I think their her voice is just very popular mm-hmm. so this is what she is known for this voice oh, bonsoir je m'appelle big fat liar so do you remember do you hear that voice like about a year or so ago oh me bonsoir je m'appelle big fat liar right that bit was okay, like I don't, a viral I don't, I'll be honest I don't know anything it's like that. a viral noise or whatever <laughs> okay and she was friends with this guy loop. called Max, who... Do you remember ages ago he made that funny tweet about Rebecca Vardy and she got all upset because someone... Oh, yeah, that's yeah. That's him, basically. Yeah. Then he's, isn't he also famous for writing letters to his um, uh, letting agent because they were trying to charge yes. him for a mattress? Yes. I know about that. That, mm. that's, that. that was quite funny and I supported him for that. Yes. He's a bit like Joe Lysett in the kind of, you know, you know our rights kind of... That's correct way so um, they like collaborated a few times um bella and max and they did all this stuff right and then all of a sudden this stuff happened where bella thought because of that catchphrase big fat blah 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 Mm. it's a bit like do you remember when kylie jenner wanted to take the name kylie and kylie minogue was trademark it yeah um, no Mm. or when paris hilton tried to trademark that's hot right okay yeah (laughs) 
Similar situation here. Basically, Bella was upset with Max because Max launched some new merch and it's called Big Fat Merch. Uh huh. And Bella is now upset because he's used Big Fat. And Bella's so, like, that's my ca- that's my thing. So she thinks that he's using her catchphrase. Yes. Big Fat. Blah, blah, blah. But she has no trademark right to it. No. Okay. And Big Fat is something that a lot of people up north, it's just a thing that people say. And also, I'm not being daft, but like in the early 2000s, wasn't there a film called My Big Fat Wedding? And then lots of spin-off TV series. My Big Fat Gypsy Gypsy Wedding, Wedding, My Big Fat Gypsy Life. So Big Fat, I don't think, could also be claimed by Bella. Mm. I think if we're going to go right down the line, then surely the woman who wrote My Big Fat Greek Wedding (laughs) should then claim that's her phrase. Exactly. It's, it's, It's... Basically, she's she's been cancelled overnight over this because who Bella has yes she's oh, lost right. like three hundred thousand followers okay like a lot it does feel a bit petty mm. I'll be honest and basically it's because all of this was going on behind the scenes and then it all came out so mm. Max basically showed everyone voicemails that Bella left him which he kind of explains in this video but also she asked us to keep it off TikTok and then she replied with a voice note that absolutely crosses the line and that's why I'm speaking on this today. All I know is that I am existing absolutely peacefully and I'm being told that you're chatting shit. I do not have the energy for it, Max. If you're going to talk shit, I will literally just come to your house and I'll beat the dog shit out with you and your boyfriend. Let That's what people have an issue with, is that he's... Going to beat the dog shit out of yeah, She is now threatening violence. I mean, obviously Bella's like thing is like very deadpan and just says things... The way she says things is, is what's yeah, funny. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So I'm guessing... Well, it's, it's, I don't it's think debatable if it's funny. It that much. I mean, loads of small creatives now come out and says, Bella's like this to me as well. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of people are being transphobic to her, which is no need. That's not necessary. Like, you can slag someone off or disagree with someone, but you don't need to bring stuff like Yeah, don't bring it. that into it. That's daft. But um, I think Bella has cancelled herself even more now. <laughs> oh, right. Because this morning she posted an apology. And you know how apologies can be... Um, very bad. In, ingenuous. Well, lots of people I think am, this is I ingenuous am just because it feels like my people saying it's like Matt Hancock doing an apology. And utterly apologise for the discomfort that I've caused you. She, she's kind um, of like smirking the whole time and doesn't seem to actually believe what she's saying. <laughs> Um, because I have upset a lot of you. To be fair, she might not be smirking. It's just that you. she's had so many fillers put into her lips. It's very difficult to know whether she's being ironic, ironic or not. She said it herself, I'm being ironic. I'm upset you because that really I, sits heavy mm. on my soul. And I'm really sorry that I did. The voice that I sent straight up out of order. I shouldn't have done it. Um, it's a, was a violent threat and I should not be throwing those words around so lightly. Um, especially in such a serious conversation. Um... It was from a horrible, reactive, not responsive place. It's from a hurt, anxious, sad place. And I'm. S- now, this is my p- thing about, and I, f- I feel sorry for like content providers because they make one TikTok or they make one video on YouTube mm. or they, they, they say one tweet to someone, they instantly become well known. Mm-hmm. And then that's almost like endorphins in their mind. They're like, oh my God, here we go. This is me now. This is what I'm going to do for my life. And so they, they kind of live off that one thing. It's almost like a catchphrase on a sitcom. Mm-hmm. They live off that one and thing. And also they've gone from like from 200 nothing. followers to like half over 600,000. Yeah, yeah. And there's no like management training or anything Exa- so you can so easily yeah. like the fans will be will follow her and be like oh you're amazing mm. but then you do like one little thing and then mm. it's just as easily they're like no and cancel. then <laughs> exactly and then it's at that point then they start patching up the boat the leaking ship with plasters because they're panicking mm. and they're like because they've had this fame this notoriety this 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 you know this people knowing them they're now then panicking and this is what this is clearly what is happening to her she's panicking now because she's thinking oh my god this is this is a situation yeah, literally in like six hours this has happened it, yeah well. i know and this is how quickly things do mm, happen now things happen that quickly and you know and i i'm i'm leaning on the sympathy you know it, here we go i'm mediating i'm mediating family here i'm i'm seeing i'm 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 leaning on the on on the, i may be sitting on the fence by saying this but i can i i feel like there's mental issues here as well like you know she might have you know anxiety issues or you know mm. problems where she you know panics and so this is this is probably not helping her kind of mental state no, of mind either she just either. did like a voicemail back didn't really think just said a stupid. Yeah. She's she she's known for posting tickles where she just says stupid mm. things. Mm. You know, saying I'll come around and beat you up. It's not. <laughs> no, that was it that could was be 
perceived in different ways. Well, it could, well I think it could have been perceived way, in one way. Yeah. It can be, it's basically conceived as in that she's going to go and beat you up. She, if you, yeah, if you talk, saying that, did she actually mean it? That did she, was it just like, oh, I'll go beat no, you up? No, of course she did, because there's a lot of things building up to that point. Mm. Like, we know that there's, there's been fact. conversations behind the scenes and that, and she's not saying that they're not real. So we know that they're also mm. true. They're, where she's basically constantly blamed and so in her mind it is that other guy I forget the other guy's name Max. but that, Max is fault she's blaming Max throughout this and so mm. it, the reason why she's being cancelled is Max's fault in her head and so in one moment of frustration I think is, is the best way for it is that she then sent that voice note to him well the trouble is it was all private and then something came out and then everyone was saying to Max you need to apologise and then he was on the verge of being cancelled himself. So he then released the voice note, mm. which then put Bella in a bad light. So it's all very dramatic, but it is literally over two words, big fat. Yeah, which, don't get me wrong. Which is ridiculous. If that, if that's the most ridiculous yeah. thing. She, so, but, but then how did, you know, how, oh, I suppose she didn't handle it very well because then instead of going to Max and asking him about it. No, she, she did. Max has said that he tweeted up months ago, I'm thinking of doing some big merch. Yeah, but that's, big, ah, ah, that that's merch. him tweeting out to the world, not to her personally. But I'm not saying he should have to tweet yeah, her yeah, personally. Like who owns the word big fat? But, but no, like. that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying she he had to tweet her personally, yeah. but then she, when he did release the big fat merch thing, instead of her then deciding that she's going to unfollow him and not reply to any of his text messages and dum da dum da dum she should have just sent him a text message saying, hi, I feel like you're kind of treading on my material here. Mm. Why did you choose to call it Big Fat? Mm. And then he could have responded, well, I did give you a chance to kind of reply because I tweeted it a few months back. She didn't just unfollow This is what I mean. So Mm. it's kind of, it's instead of it being a civil conversation between two people, it's two people who have obviously become famous very quickly and almost their fame... They don't know how to handle it. Well, they don't know how to handle it and their fame has gotten bigger than them. Mm. So that's why it's escalated like this. And basically, this is, you could say this with all things that have happened around this you know you could argue you could argue the, the whole Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson thing that escalated out of proportion mm. because they weren't handling it very well um, and that's why you need to kind of I, I mean, think an apology video is always a difficult thing to get right I mean I, I just think I just think you should, should, I just don't should think, you just not do one well, I don't think you should not do one. I just think that sometimes, though... Wait a bit longer the, to do one. But the best thing to do on social media is if someone's trying to call you out or annoy you, is to, to ignore them. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, if that Max guy... like, oh, Okay, again, in this situation, Max couldn't ignore it because he was on the verge of getting cancelled. <laughs> but, like, you know, there's always going to be, you know, idiots who kind of call you out for things that don't apply... And you, and really, you can reason to them as much as you tr- can try, but you're never going to reason with them because in some, mm. it's never going to happen. So people I people aren't accepting her apology. They're well, then that's up to them. It's not sincere enough. Well, that's up to them. I mean, that's it's not that people are saying that she's only doing it is because she's woken up with loads of unfollows. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Oh, yeah. No, she she wouldn't have done it for any other reason. Of course not. But mm. at the same time, if if people are gonna. It's all down to one blooming comment. That's, that's, that's what so makes it so... The... It's almost playground. That's mm. what makes it so frustrating. But then this is another reason. It's always young people. Smirking throughout. No apology to Max. What was the point in the video? This was like... A, this was as bad as James Charles' apology. <laughs> well, Why fine. are you smirking? No apology to the person you threatened to beat up. Big fat no from me. So... Yeah. But do you think he... <laughs> blooming Simon Cowell... <laughs> So uh, yeah, very silly internet drama which appears. Well, it's just an, it's another internet and it'll drama. It probably disappear just as quick. But um, the thing is, this was literally everywhere. Like I was scrolling through. What's this? Yeah, you know, on mine it was on my Twitter. Everything. I Every literally saw it once this morning. It. The one post I saw was well, this you've morning. Seen one, you'll you'll be well no you'll, you'll do it now because you've made me watch it and I've talked about it. And my phone's probably <laughs> listening to every single little thing we're saying. Hmm. But so. no, I see. This is what I mean. I I didn't see it. I was out the loop of it, so that's it's meant nothing to me. Mm. Plus, I don't. I know I'm gonna probably. The internet is fine, and it's a lovely place, and it's great for content and something like other. But there really is quite a hell of a lot more important matters right now that we should be arguing about, okay. rather yeah, than whether things, Big yeah. Fat is a trademark name. <laughs> a lot of the people were saying that, like this. That's why also why people were just unfollowing Bella because they were like. This is so irrelevant to anything. It's all irrelevant. Um, so just get over yourself. I mean, I know, I know Basically it's... Basically take yeah. step down a peg or two. I know it's a big deal for Bella and I know it's a big deal for Max. Don't get me wrong. It, there's a lot of things in my life that are a bigger deal for me than they would be if I said to someone on the internet, oh, I've got this as a problem today. Because mm. a lot of people would be like, oh, la di da <laughs> whoopie-doo for you. And that was, you know, what do you want us to say about it? Mm. But 
there really is. In the grand scheme of things, there really is bigger problems right now. And maybe that's just too much of an easy escape for me to say mm. from this, but still. So we're going to release some big fat merch. Are we? <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. <laughs> I don't use the word big fat personally. But um, yeah, I just thought a little interest of that, of internet drama. But Paris won her thing about that's hot, by the way. Oh, what does she say? So she's trademarked so that. So she's trademarked that's hot. Mm. So there could be a lawsuit. Hot. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot, Paris. <laughs> I look forward to the uh, voice note. <laughs> I wanted to also show you this video because these girls. Look how dodgy the swing is. <laughs> is that. What? Is that for real? Yeah, it's the girl on the right, people are saying it's. It's this swing here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And then she's obviously done something, and then... Yeah. <laughs> but I've done research, everyone. Don't worry. Um, they are alive, because there was, like, a wooden plank underneath them. Oh, okay. But still, like... That's scary. I that would is not be on that. It looks like the most dangerous thing. But it everyone's, doesn't look safe, Everyone's it? saying it's girls on the right's fault, because she moves here. And then... <laughs> I don't know, except having said that, because it looks like something's got loose on the left-hand side of the sea. Also, why are we blaming someone for this? I'm not blaming, I'm just saying it's <laughs> funny. Because they're both alive, that's why it's funny. But when I saw that, I was like, oh my god, when I saw that um, come up onto my face. It was just, it's just amazing that people would have to blame someone for like that. That doesn't look like it's anyone's fault. In particular. Well, it's the fault of the person who has that swing, who's decided that that's safe. It doesn't feel very safe at all. But mm. no, that's, that's silly. There's a swing like that in Amsterdam. Remember? At the top of that, where the Game of Thrones uh, seat is. But it's much safer than oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's, a, like it's an mechanical. Thing, yeah, yeah, it's mechanical, so it swings you. But it swings you out from this oh, tall building. Mm -hmm. That's um, that's where I got the picture of me sitting on top of a red horse. <laughs> if you find me on Instagram, you'll see that picture. What about this, then? A bit nicer for you. You're in the middle of the sea. <laughs> How cool is that? That's amazing. The noises as well. They're not Aww. added in. That's so cool, isn't it? Although yeah. you would shit yourself because, like, it literally like comes out of nowhere. Yeah, it would be frightening, but it is amazing. Or it would be uh, surprising. <laughs> I think that's cute. Yes. Yeah, Personally, I think that's really sweet. I, I like think that's Starless. really nice. Well, that made me smile. I'd love to know if anyone kind of has a knowledge of like whale sounds, <laughs> what that means. Because they must be calling their mm. children or something. They're meant to be quite playful as well, aren't they? They're like the only animals that... No, dolphins. I think you're thinking of dolphins. Dolphins, mm -hmm. dolphins swim alongside our boats and mm -hmm. stuff. And just to finish off the uh, podcast this week, we've got um, this cat trying his hardest to get out that window. Mm. <laughs> and yeah. then... No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have made that more perfect as if like a cartoon the cat puts claws out and just scrapes oh, yeah, scrape it. itself down the wall bless it that's the only thing that would have made that more perfect <laughs> but I do like that that's cool bless him so there you go can I, before we go can I show you a meme of the eye that someone showed me uh, yesterday yes I think I have it on here. oh do you do you have it already did I send it to you already oh yeah here it is I mean can I just talk about this meme this is just I just, I love this meme so much. It's like yeah, the you said this to me and said, let's talk about this. Yeah, we need to talk about this. The fact that the, 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 the dog's head perfectly fits the rest of the pizza. So it's <laughs> almost like the pizza is the dog's head attached mm. to it. And it's just the emotion that must be going through that poor dog's face. Is he in a car? I think he's in a car. I think he he's in a car of some sort. Well, I don't know. I think he's just whining and the guy's just like... <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's so. I mean, that's it's just. I just love that picture so much. Once in a lifetime, that picture. Basically. I know. There's I just, no way to recreate. <laughs> there's no way to redo it. That's just, just what it is. Why is going through that poor dog's mind? That's what I'm thinking. What is he thinking? Is he thinking I wish I was eating that pizza, <laughs> or is he thinking Get me out of this room. I'm too hot. Mm. I, just, I wish I was the pizza. Oh, yes, I wish I could become the pizza. Who knows? I am at one with the pizza. <laughs> I just love that picture. Anyway, but yeah, they, I just I it's had to happiness. share that with you. I'm okay. glad I shared that with you yesterday. So there you go. That was episode four. The wolf had all wrapped up and finished. Yeah, we're storming through, aren't we? Are, we? Yes. So um, there you go. I hope everyone enjoyed whatever this was that we did. Got through it all. Um, 
post any comments below that you have on your opinions, what we chatted about this week. Or any links of things that you want us to chat about. Mm. If you want us to chat about anything. As you, can, you get... can tell, we are open to literally anything. So. <laughs> Speak to yourself. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, honestly, just get in touch with us. Um, yeah, do, what, are we going to do our personal Twitters so we can get yeah, in touch with us? Yeah, our personal ones are on there. Yeah. At Alex's Twittergram. If you want to get in touch send with me. Send them to him. Yeah. And... Or send them to Ben. At Brand Sweden. Brand Sweden. At the bottom. Yeah. Or Wolford Weekly, wherever. All the links are in the thing below. Yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching and listening, and we will catch you up again next week. Goodbye. Bye.